Nobody came around our yard. I can see him. I can see me, Mum. You prick. <sighs> using deception, much as I should be used to it by now. But Black is comfortably sitting in his office in Canary Wharf. This train goes right there, in fact. I don't control it, mine. All done remotely. I got a little signaler here to tell the Syndicate chaps to trigger it once we've had a little chat. I'm afraid the lies go back many years. It's Gabriel's fault, really. He made me promise. Take a proper oath. That if anything were to happen to him, that I'd keep his lad Sebastian safe. So when Black killed Gabriel and told me to become an informer, or he'd slaughter Sebastian too, what were I to do? Bastard even paid me, just to add to the shame. 
I'm almost glad he took my eyes out, so I don't have to face myself in the mirror. I've been acting turncoat for ten years now, feeding the Syndicate intel, pushing back against Sebastian's more aggressive plans. Sebastian don't have a clue. That I am. The thing is, I've kept the Vagabonds under the radar, reigning in aggression, not overstepping on the Syndicate's toes. It's only by staying small that we've stayed alive. Until you came along. I knew you were special when the boys brought you in. But I didn't think you'd upset things this much. You've brought success after success for the gang. I know you haven't made everyone happy. You've certainly made Sebastian bolder. More fired up. Now he thinks he can take on Black with no challenge. It's mad. He ain't got a clue just how big Black really is. How impossible any war against him would be. And so, we come to this. Sebastian has become his own enemy, the biggest threat to his own survival. What am I to do? Stick behind him and let him get himself killed? Taking all the Vagabonds with him? Or something else? Look, Black's an evil bastard. There is no denying that. But he understands how the world works. He sent me to give you an offer now. Betray the Vagabonds and join with him. Otherwise, the Vagabonds will get wiped out by him anyway. But it'll be slow and painful, and leave half of East London in ruins. That's the situation. Accept Black's offer, and you can go and see him right now. Like that, is it? Well, let's have it, you little shit.
No doubt you made a ruckus up there. Keep doing so. Put down as many of those dogs as you can. Backup's already on the way. Grab Black's pistol for me. I'll be there pronto. Now get to it. Only. Glad to have you back. I believe you have my trophy. Here it is. Thought you might be telling tales. Black's own Lady Bristol. In the flesh. This was the last thing the old man ever saw before Black put a crater in his head. I've thought about this good all my life. Imagined it every night. What it would look like. How it would feel to hold. It... it feels wrong. Here, it's yours. You deserve it. Let's move on. I'll finish up here. Need some time by my lonesome. I sent Johnny down to the tunnels to catch any fleeing mutts. Make sure he doesn't bottle it. Consequences. A new face. You sticking round? Didn't your mum teach you better?
Just glad I did go proud. Thanks for the help. Don't know if I could have done it on my own. I'll stay down here and guard these tunnels. You better see how Winston's doing. If you hang round, wouldn't hurt none. We need the numbers. These dogs are stubborn, so let's not chit-chat for long. This ain't over yet. Go find Bullet Tooth. No doubt he could do with the support. I'll hold down here. We'll speak later. Me, am I happy you arrived when you did? My arse was brown bread. Not gonna stand on parade. Cheers for the help. Let's head back to Gaunt. Knowing him, he'll be rolling out the red carpet with a speech in hand. Let's get to it. Fucking disorder. The red treaty. They fought them. 
finished. Driven to near extinction. For here I am. It's all. And I win. Not it. That was something. Humble as ever.